later on at the end of the seminar presentation, you can unmute yourself and ask questions related to our topic for today. Those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Dr. James Ong. I am a Penang boy. <laughs> we like to call ourselves Penang boy. No longer a boy because I'm 60 years old, right? Anyway, I'm a Malaysian and I live in Manila, but right now I'm in Ho Chi Minh City in Saigon, having a wonderful time. It's good to be here and thank you so much for coming. And uh, those of you in different parts of the world, this will be recorded and I hope that it reaches you. So today we are going to discuss about something that uh, can really change our lives because this is a wonderful medical device. Can you imagine? So small, so compact, and it's even uh, battery operated. You can also use your power bank and you can use the socket from the home. Okay, so that's that's just how portable and uh, small and compact it is. And it is called electroacupuncture. To fully understand what electroacupuncture is, is to understand first the history of acupuncture, right? So acupuncture, well, we know as Asians, poking needles, right? But acupuncture has been around for 3,000 years. So you can see, highlighted, 3,000 years, Okay. And given my background, I used to be a lawyer or in the Philippines, they say attorney. So everything that I present, I have to substantiate to you because if I were to go to the court and present to the judge, I have to do the same. And uh, there's nothing based on hearsay, right? And even uh, testimonial is something you hear from the person uh, himself or herself. And uh, this is a wonderful device. And the history of acupuncture tells us that it has been around for three thousand years guys anything that has been in existence for three thousand years it really really works okay now this acupuncture thing is uh invented by you know uh, china uh, and the thing is this they believe three thousand years ago that we are made of energy. Our body is made of energy, okay? So, you know, the fact that we are made of energy, uh, it means all our organs, right? The sustenance and maintenance of our organs will depend on how the energy flow within our body. Don't you agree? So, acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine, they believe that there are meridians, these pathways, energy pathways, they call meridians. And if there is a blockage and you don't get rid of the blockage, then that particular meridian, so there are many meridians, all right, guys? So that particular meridian related to that particular organ, if there is a blockage and you don't remove that blockage, it will lead to a disease, all right? So when uh, you remove the blockage, then no more, <laughs> what disappears? So that's that's like, you know, uh, some of you may have experienced reflexology, right? So when you sit down and, and the guy kind of like, you know, uh, mm. touches your feet and then, ouch, you know, like you feel some sensation. But after, you know, uh, a few minutes and the pain uh, is it kind of disappears, isn't it? Because they have already removed the blockage. My okay. head so these meridians, this channel of energy they are all over our body all over so you can access it through the hand you can access it through the feet through different parts of the body that is if you have a very good understanding of energy pathways but for most of us we don't study uh, so we don't know but this particular device is very simple because it comes with a chart and it's really really simple because the chart is all marked out, mapped out, okay? Very simple. <laughs> so when you get the device, all right, I'm, I'm all over the place today <laughs> because I'm in a holiday mood. When you get this device and then you plug it in and you just, you see this little thing here? This is, um, you kind of, it's roundish. It's, you, it doesn't pierce through your skin, okay? So you just have to touch your skin and go all over the place and anywhere that you feel a vibration, you can mark it. Or if some places you feel the sharper sensation, like a 
pain, you know, in the Philippines, they say, Aray, you know, <laughs> then you take a marker pen and you just mark the point. And then once you mark all these points, then you can refer to the chart and see uh, what organ it is related to. Okay, it's as simple as that. And then uh, the description from here, you can already see uh, all the points. And then here is the description of what uh, or which organ they are related to. Simple as that. And how do you treat yourself? So this wonderful device, it can actually diagnose and it can also relieve. That means it can do the treatment. So if you uh, touch you know, on this device, you touch on level 1 or level 2, very low. By the way, it can go up to level 15. So when it goes up to level 15, means the current is higher. All right? For newcomers and newbies, <laughs> well, I don't think you can um, withstand such a high level. So most people would just start from level 2, level 3, you know, some even just from level 1. You feel the sensation, like I said, uh, vibration or a slight you know, pain, right? Now, there's also a lot of points that you touch and you don't feel anything at all. You don't feel anything. So let me tell you technically how this thing works. You see the wire? Now, electroacupuncture, as we know, are needles and then there are wires connected to the needles. But this little machine or device is like made easy. Everything, you don't need to poke through your skin, to tie the string of wires to a, a particular uh, electronic uh, generator of current or something like that. You don't need... Everything is so convenient. Just this thing alone connected to that small little device and you can already start doing your own re you know, diagnostic and treatment. Isn't it amazing? And when, when you... You know, how this thing works is this. When, uh, when you touch the, the skin and there's no sensation means the energy went through because there's no blockage, okay? But if there's a slight blockage and you touch the, let's say, diabetic point or your pancreas, and then there is a vibration, means there is a blockage, but not so severe. So when there's a blockage, then it will send back the signal so that you can feel. But you don't feel pain, you feel vibration. But let's say you touch your heart and you feel a very sharp sensation, right? That means there is a blockage in your heart, right? The meridians, okay? There is a blockage. It sends back the signal and you feel, wow, a sharp pain. So maybe you want to go do some treatment or if you are like not sure, <laughs> I don't know, it's up to you, but you may want to go for um, ECG or CT scan. That's up to you. So it's, it's able to detect and diagnose and warn you even at a very early stage. And alarmingly, Many people have found this to be so accurate, okay? So accurate, and it can tell you what you already know. If somebody has a prostate problem, all right, and then goes to pee in the middle of the night, wake up wake up a few times, that kind of thing. So you touch the prostate point, it's like, wow, you know. Or if somebody has a respiratory problem, coughing problem, diabetic, uh, maybe sciatica pain somewhere, you know, you touch that point, it's going to make a sharp sensation. You know what I mean? Or even insomnia. And then uh, you know you have a problem uh, when you feel sensation. But what about those points that you feel vibration or pain and you don't know? You don't know. So this device can tell you. Isn't it wonderful? So it can tell you what you know. It can also tell you what you don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't be afraid because it can also heal you. It can uh, unblock the blockages in all the different, you know, meridian points and yeah, it will heal you. So that's the good news. All right, let me go on. So that's uh, acupuncture and this is uh, electroacupuncture and some say that it was invented in 1934 in China and Japan and Germany. Well, anyway, it has been around for a while. Okay. So electroacupuncture is just putting current through the needle. And here, with this amazing device, it's already all done for you. You don't have to poke so many needles because you don't. You may not know where to poke, all right? So this is, uh, you know, a very short um, uh, video that I, I feel that I have to play it. 
uh, and just I think three or three minutes or four minutes, because you know like operation, uh, open heart surgery and many types of operation, you normally apply uh, general anesthesia, right, so that you don't feel the the you know the the pain. So here you'll be surprised they use acupuncture, okay? They use acupuncture and it's just simply yeah amazing okay so enjoy this just a few minutes only China, a young woman is having open heart surgery but it's unlike anything you'll see in the west she's still conscious because instead of a general anesthetic this 21st century surgical team are using a 2000 year old method of controlling pain acupuncture in the city's most advanced hospital 21 year old factory worker Chun Gunlian has a hole in the heart and her health is deteriorating she's about to have open heart surgery even with the best medical equipment it's a risky operation. Her chest will be cut open and her heart stopped. But Gunlian will go through all of this without a general anesthetic. Instead, she's chosen acupuncture. Although sedated by drugs and her chest numbed, she'll be conscious throughout the whole procedure. The doctors stimulate the needles using an electrical current. As the surgeon begins, the success of the operation depends not just on his skill, but on the power of acupuncture. Acupuncture is an effective painkiller. It's also less damaging to the body than a general anesthetic. It seems incredible, but Gullian's doctors have done more than 300 similar operations. Gunlian's operation is entering the most dramatic phase. They check she's okay as they prepare to stop her heart to repair the hole. It seems amazing to me that acupuncture is even considered for such a life-threatening operation. But after two hours of intricate surgery, everything appears to have gone well. Remarkably, just two days after the operation, Gunlian is sitting up in bed, telling her sister the story. Her memories are still vivid. I remember the doctor stuck a needle into my hand and felt my pulse. Then he put another needle in here and here near my vein. Then my whole body started to tremble. When the scalpel started to cut the bone, I could hear it all. But I didn't feel any pain, not a thing. The speed of Gunlian's recovery is impressive. Just a week after the operation, she's ready to check out. And there's one other benefit to the acupuncture. 
The bill is a third of the cost of an operation with general anaesthetic. Observers now believe that this simple needle has extraordinary powers. <laughs> this video is meant for skeptics. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, guys? Um, so, yeah, like I said, something that has worked for 3,000 years uh, should not be classified as alternative medicine. Do you agree with me? So what happened in the last 100 odd years or so? Well, something happened. And that all started when penicillin was uh, invented. And uh, right after penicillin was invented, uh, businessmen saw the opportunity. If they can get the society or people to be drug dependent, it, it makes great business. That's the beginning of pharmaceutical companies. You can Google it. That's how I got the story from, right? And uh, nowadays, everything you can find out from Google. And uh, yeah, so when these pharmaceutical companies became big and for the marketing uh, strategy, well, they have to control, right? So universities, medical schools, FDAs, governments, right? So that's, that's how it works, guys. If you still don't know, right? WHO, right? So... This, this has been going on and, you know, um, they just want you to buy something on a regular basis. They don't want to heal you. Are you with me? That's why drugs don't heal you. They just relieve you and create another problem or other problems for you. Or they postpone more problems for you, right? So they don't heal you. Get the picture? So... That's, that's why we have been classified as alternative, not only acupuncture, but Ayurveda and so many other amazing, amazing, you know, traditional medicine, which has been classified as such. So here we are right now. Uh, you have to make the choice yourself. Okay. Something 3000 years means it works. And just to show you about this amazing so that can... Uh, create uh you know a replacement for general anesthesia all right moving on i want to give you four reasons first and then a fifth one later on why electroacupuncture and acupuncture works all right four reasons the first one is this is stem cells journal so if you want to talk about stem cells this is the authority okay and here it says electroacupuncture promotes central nervous system dependent release release of mesenchymal stem cells. Wow. It can release stem cells in our body. What, what do stem cells do? Stem cells, on its own, when it's kind of dormant, it doesn't do anything. It's called undifferentiated. But when it goes to the organ, like your heart, it becomes heart cells. It goes to the liver, it becomes liver cells and so on. In other words, from undifferentiated they become differentiated. Are you with me? So they can replace and repair damaged cells. Isn't it amazing? That's why you have, you know, hospitals charging exorbitantly huge amount of money for stem cells therapy. And what they do is they extract the mesenchymal stem cells, which is found mainly in your fat. So it's like a bit of liposuction kind of thing, you know, and then they separate the stem cells and then the rest they discard and then they freeze it all right, and then they get you to come back three times, four times, five times, and every time you come back, they will inject in your damaged organ. Okay, so if you don't have a lot of money, well, sorry, that is not for you, but it's okay, it's okay because electroacupuncture can do the same natural way, you just have to stimulate, <laughs> right, and then your body can release the stem cell. That's where you get the healing. Okay, number one. Now, moving on, number two, moving on, all right? And uh, this one is Nature. Nature is the number one medical journal. You can Google and Wikipedia will tell you how good is nature. So most doctors, they rely on nature. And this is what nature has to say. Electroacupuncture activates neurons to switch off inflammation. I'll repeat. Electroacupuncture activates neurons to switch off like a light switch off, turn off inflammation. Guys, would you agree with me that most diseases are caused by chronic inflammation? 
If you don't heal the inflammation and it's chronic, it will become a disease. Okay? So here you can switch off the inflammation. Means, let's take an example of situation that you feel the pain, right? Pain management. So let's say um, arthritis pain. Let's say uh, sciatica pain, right? Some people are using painkillers because they cannot stand the pain, you know? They treat <laughs> right, with this wonderful device and the pain disappears. So does that prove to you that it can switch off the neurons switch off the inflammation in your body so that you don't feel the pain and uh, you know it will disappear, right? Now, isn't that amazing? Number two, moving on, point number three, okay? This is PubMed, National Institutes of Health, US government website. Acupuncture enhances generation of nitric oxide. Okay, so I don't know if you're aware, but nitric oxide enhances your circulatory system. So when your circulatory system is good, that means all the nutrients will reach the cells. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so that's point number three. Now moving on, point number four, this is a wow. Here again, National Institutes of Health, and please take note of the date here. <laughs> the date is 2024, March 27, very current, right? Acupuncture and its ability to restore and maintain immune homeostasis. Restore and maintain immune homeostasis. So what is immune uh, homeostasis? What is immune system? Our immune system is there to protect us, right? In case you have like bacteria or viruses or whatever, right? Coming into our body. The first thing is your immune system will work over time. A bit like Star Wars, you know, shooting everywhere, right? But if your immune system is overreactive, then you have autoimmune disease. Example, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, you know. So if it is overreactive, it, if it's under, uh, you know, the immune system is underperforming, then you may have cancer. Wow. Very, very severe, right? So here, let me just highlight. Okay. And uh, let's read it together. Fortunately, evidence suggests that acupuncture can bidirectionally regulate the immune system to maintain immune homeostasis balance. In cases of immunosuppressive diseases like cancer, acupuncture has an enhancing. So if it's underperforming, it can enhance. Conversely, on the opposite, in autoimmune diseases, so if it is overreactive, like rheumatoid arthritis, acupuncture has been observed to have an immunosuppressive, it can suppress it, which helps to restore the normal immune tolerance. So immune homeostasis. Guys, these four things alone can solve most of your problems. Don't you agree with me? These four things that I have talked about can solve most of your problems. Before I touch on point number five, let me now go on to show you. So this is a medical device. Guys, this is a medical device, all right? And because of that, these are some of the illnesses. And uh, yeah, you can take a picture, but it's not exhaustive. It's not all of it, all right? Um, and this is how it comes in into this fantastic box, which I have over here. <coughs> and uh, all right. These are the exclusion of certain classes of people, you know, like any device or any uh, equipment. There are some classes of people that we rather they don't use. Okay. Number one, pacemaker user. So if you have a pacemaker, it's electronic. So we don't want you to blame us that it is our device that caused the electronic uh, problem of your pacemaker. So if you're using a pacemaker, please do not use our product. Pregnant women, well, pregnancy can be testing. And uh, if they use our device and the pregnant, the the, the baby comes out to be really healthy, uh, they're not going to thank us that it's the, it's the device. But for whatever reason, if the baby comes out and there's a complication, they're going to point the finger and blame our device. Are you with me? So if you're pregnant, please don't use our device. We, we don't want uh, any problem, all right? So... Children under three years of age, well, if you are, you know, an infant, 
your organs are not fully developed. So anything can happen. Again, uh, we rather not go into those type of people, uh, young babies, okay? So do not use if you're three years or your children are three years and below. Patient with malignant tumors. Now, guys, when this device was registered, it wasn't registered for cancer curing because if we were to register this device as a cancer curing device, do you think it can be approved? You answer within yourself, <laughs> right? No way. <laughs> They're not going to approve it, right? So it wasn't. And therefore, we have to make this statement because our device is not only US FDA, but many FDAs in different countries. So they don't like it <laughs> if you can cure cancer. Patient with hemorrhagic tendencies, patient with tuberculosis, and chronic alcoholic. Okay. So this is the chart, and this is the front, and this is the back. And almost, almost all your organs can be found just here. Some people have asked, well, if uh, we don't want to use left hand, can we use right hand? Yeah, of course, you can use right hand. Left hand or right hand, but left hand is close to the heart. So, yeah, we use the left hand, okay? And um, you mark yourself, you map, you know, basically you're just using it for the first time. You just map and then put a mark on, the, on those points that you feel vibration or some kind of strong sensation. Then you can go back there to treat. So many people ask, how long do we do we set the timer? Well, it's five minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes. If it is small, just five minutes. Imagine you put 10 points. 10 points, five minutes is already how how 50 minutes already, right? So here the brochure says don't use more than one hour. Okay. You can use two times a day, three times a day. That's up to you. But one hour, stop. Rest for a few hours before you use again. And after 15 days, stop for three days because your body gets used to it. 15 days, stop for three days. 15 days, stop for three days, okay? And do not shower after one hour. So I tell the people, you know, in the meeting, well, when you wake up in the morning, go for your shower. And then after that, do it for one hour, right? And then you go out in the day and then at night, again, you come back and everything and then you settle down and you shower and then you do it again, okay? So twice a day, that's more than enough. All right, moving on. Now, this is point number five, guys. Point number five, because look at these clips here. All right? So these clips, it goes to your earlobes, okay? It goes to your ears, your earlobes. And uh, what does it do? Well, it's a vagus nerve stimulator. Look at this. Our vagus nerve actually comprises of 80,000 nerves. It should be in the plural, not singular, right? It should be vagus nerves, but nevertheless, they call it the vagus nerve and it is our autonomic nervous system. This is like the software of your body. Your eyes, your heart, your liver, your kidneys and everything else, they are your hardware. The vagus nerve is the software. You have the hardware, but if your software are not performing well, the signal will not be sent correctly. Even your heart doesn't know how to beat. Are you with me, guys? <laughs> right? I mean, you can have rapid heartbeat. You can have hypertension. You can have, you know, what the vagus nerve does is like even your digestive system, your breathing, your everything, anything that you do not need to be conscious of, automatic. So it's your autonomous nervous system. Okay, guys? Now, 80,000 nerves, it's very, very important, okay? Very, very, extremely important. And WebMD, everyone knows WebMD. What does it say about vagus nerve? Vagus nerve is an integral part of your autonomic nervous system. This part of your nervous system controls the things your body does without your conscious input, such as breathing, digesting food, and sweating. Look at the right-hand side. It, the function of the vagus nerve is this. It regulates your heart rate. Is that important? Of course. Your taste, your speech, your skin sensations, muscle sensations, immune response, 
respiratory rate, your blood pressure, mucus production, saliva production, digestion, frequency of urination, mood, etc. etc. My goodness, guys, 80,000 nerves. It's very hard to diagnose because it can be anything and everything. And here are some of the symptoms, right? If you have a vagus nerve problem, you may have acid reflux, abdominal pain, bloating, lack of gag reflex, difficulty swallowing, dizziness, fainting, hoarse voice, wheezing, unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite, feeling full after eating very little food, nausea, vomiting, chronic mood issues. I don't know. Guys, if you have hypertension, you will probably think something is wrong with my heart or your circulatory system. You will not blame it on the vagus nerve. Am I right? If you have any kind of acid reflux, you will not think that it is the vagus nerve. You will think about your stomach ulcer. and right? So there's a lot of problems with us, which is probably caused by the vagus nerve but we just discard it and we just throw it away and we look at the particular organ or surrounding that particular organ that has a problem. Are you with me? And that's our, our challenge, all right? Our challenge is to identify the vagus nerve problem. Now, this TAVNS, all right, is uh, transcutaneous, is anything on the skin, auricular means everything on the ears, transcutaneous auricular vagus nerve stimulator. What it can do is it can also improve our memory. Wow. Okay. It can actually improve our memory. Now, let me just go on to the next one. Uh, PubMed. Transcutaneous auricular vagus nerve stimulation improves human working memory performance under sleep deprivation stress. So they have classes of people, sleep deprivation, and one group with and their memory actually improves, all right? So the thing that comes to mind, guys, is this. There are many elderly people today, they have dementia. They have not only dementia, they have Parkinson's disease. Am I right? Because the cells are not communicating well, all right? When somebody has a stroke and the limbs cannot move, it's not the limbs that has problem. It's not the legs or the arms. It's the brain cannot communicate with your arm. Are you with me? <laughs> right? So the vagus nerve works something like that. If it can communicate, it can control, and those people with Parkinson will not have this. Are you with me? Imagine your mother looking at you and cannot even recognize who you are. You know how sad that is? Guys, if TAVNS can improve memory, if anyone you know has this dementia, which is so common nowadays, all right, please present this to them, okay? And it will work. <laughs> right, moving on, moving on. Yes, I'm getting a bit sentimental. Okay, here we go. Now, COVID-19 has damaged our vagus nerve. The next few slides, I'll be talking about that because you're thinking, why, why do we need this TAVNS? Why do we need to stimulate our vagus nerve? We are healthy. We are perfect, right? COVID-19 has damaged our vagus nerve. And this is uh, what? National Institutes of Health. Uh, and um, vagus nerve inflammation contributes to dysautonomia in COVID-19. Sorry, I have to be a bit technical because I want to emphasize the point. So this dysautonomia is created by this COVID-19 problem. So what is this dysautonomia? Cleveland Clinic has this to say. The dysautonomia is a nervous system disorder that disrupts autonomic body processes, right, guys? The vagus nerve talks about the autonomic nervous system. The sotonomia disrupts. So isn't it destroying your vagus nerve, damaging your vagus nerve? Yes, it is, okay? These are the auto automatic functions like your blood pressure and heart rate. Having the sotonomia means these functions don't work properly. 
causing disruptive symptoms. Guys, so this COVID-19 is a culprit, right? And this is another study that shows the problem between COVID-19 patients and their vagus nerve. And here, guys, it says this on the first paragraph, a hallmark of fatal SARS-CoV-2 infection, COVID-19, is cytokine storm. I just want you to re recognize and remember, cytokine storm, okay? Now, cyto what is this cytokine storm? storm? An increase of inflammatory proteins within the body that can lead to respiratory distress and organ failure, okay? So what diseases or conditions involve cytokines? So cytokines is not bad, but too much of it is bad, and that is known as cytokine storm. Cytokines are so essential to your immune system that they play a role in most conditions and diseases that may affect you. Typically, cytokines help keep you infection-free. If your immune system releases too many cytokines in response to an infection or treatments like immunotherapy, you may develop cytokine release syndrome, also called cytokine storm. Too much is no good and it's caused by this COVID-19 virus, right? Now, too much inflammation can damage tissue and lead to diseases and conditions, including, not exhaustive, including what? Autoimmune diseases. Wow. Going on, metabolic disorders. Going on, cancer, right? Sepsis. So this COVID-19 is bad and here we go again another study shows the correlation even forbes.com um, or forbes magazine forbes.com new insights into long covid point to damage to the vagus nerve how many of us have been infected by this covid19 according to this study about half the world's population half the world's population has covid19 infection guys there's something that they are not saying as well. How many of you have this during the pandemic? I had two AstraZeneca. Have you heard of AstraZeneca, AZ? And recently, they pulled out their drug from the marketplace saying that there are other better vaccines, which is rubbish, right? And they are being sued. And in the court document, they openly, <laughs> or maybe they had no choice. They, in the court document, stated that there are side effects in the AstraZeneca drugs. I had two shots, so there's something wrong with me, <laughs> right? Now, how many of you, after the pandemic, during the pandemic, suddenly you know of people or even yourself have like rapid heartbeat? Some people have hypertension. Are you with me? Some people even had stroke. How many of you? Yesterday, I was watching on TikTok a player. If I'm not mistaken, he was 17 years old and he died while playing badminton. Did you all see that? Hello? <laughs> what? 19 years old. Uh, 17 years old, I think. China, represented China in Indonesia. He died of a heart attack on the court. Wow. So is it because of this? I'm not saying. I'm just letting you think. All right. Um, more and more are coming out in the open. Now, are you doing anything for your body? Well, for me, every day, at least every day, one hour. I want to reverse, right? The damaged vagus nerve. So, now you have that opportunity to do something about it. And I really, really hope and pray for you that you will do something about it, not only for yourself, but also for the people that you know, right? So moving on, guys, moving on. You have to make the decision now. Don't listen to them because all they wanted to do is to kill us. <laughs> yeah. You know, do you know that WHO, I have a friend who is a medical doctor and he logged into his account with WHO and inside that account, he has the FAQ. You know what's FAQ? Frequently asked questions. In case you have patients who are, don't want to have vaccine, 
this is how you answer them. Wow. Guys, you go to the hospitals and you see pharmaceutical representatives waiting for the specialist doctor. Wow. When you have people who are supposed to cure you, right? But they are incentivized by selling certain drugs and hitting certain quota so that they can go for a free trip. There is a conflict. Are you with me? There is a conflict. You need to make decision by yourself. You have to be smart. We have to be smart, all of us. Okay? So <laughs> they keep pushing us all these drugs and cutting us up. It's not the solution, guys. We don't have to go through that, okay? Now, this factory is from Taiwan, okay? It's from Taiwan. And wouldn't you agree with me that Taiwanese product and technology is up there, right? Like Japan, isn't it? Some people say. So this factory is from Taiwan. And look at the establishment date, 1999. Wow. Wow. It's been around for a long time, right? They have two factories building a third one and they are going for public listing. Okay, it's a big, big manufacturer. And this is the owner, the guy on the left, not the guy on the right. <laughs> the guy on the left, his name is Terry, Terry Chiang. He's three years older than me. He's 63 and healthy. And he's an amazing guy. Why is he an amazing guy? I asked him a question. Why do you have to register this product with the US FDA? And he related the story that when they started, he told a group of doctors that he has this amazing device. And that device is thicker than this, the old version, you know. And he told the doctors that we have invented a device that can diagnose and that can treat and heal people. And the doctors look at him and say, well, if you really have such a wonderful device, what will happen to our profession? So they didn't believe in him. They, they, they kind of mocked him, right? And then he told himself, well, if I can get it FDA approved in America, nobody can say anything. So he embarked on that journey. It took him six and a half years. Six and a half years. And how much? almost 2 million US dollars to finally get the approval. But those of you in America, I see some of you are there. Congratulations. And also congratulations to all of us in other parts of the world because it's very difficult to get a product to be registered as a medical device in the US FDA. $2 million and six and a half years, guys. This is an amazing guy, okay? I have never seen a product company, a product with so many registrations. So in Taiwan, of course, you have the Taiwan FDA. In China, the home of acupuncture, you have the China FDA. In America, as I just mentioned to you, US FDA and patent. And in Korea, we also have the FDA in Korea. In Japan, we also have the FDA in Japan. Is it easy to register in Korea and Japan? No. Medical device, guys. Medical device. Amazing. Okay. And we also have the SGS. What is it? We have the ISO 13485. You know, ISO have 9001, 9002, and so on, right? This is ISO 13485. And what is it for? It's for medical devices. And we have it from the UK. It shows that the product is safe. The product has been evaluated by SGS given the ISO 13485 and it is safe. All right. So it's amazing and it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. In Malaysia, it has the Malaysian government approval as a medical device in Thailand, in Indonesia, in Russia, in Australia, in Germany. Wow. And yeah, even WHO knows about this product. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I've never seen a device with so many registrations. Have you? I don't know. I haven't sold a medical device in my whole life. This is the first time. 
And wow, it is my first time and I'm so lucky and I'm so proud to be able to do that. Okay, and I hope you are proud too. So it is a medical device and it is safe and let's move on. Testimonies, are there a lot? Well, there's a lot and I will not bore you. You can go to the link tree, okay? I have this link tree and I'm going to put it in the chat now. All right, I have this link tree, guys. Um, okay. Yeah, I should have done that earlier, but never mind. So go to the chat, copy, paste it and put it aside somewhere. Okay, and uh, yeah, you will be amazed, okay? Like I said, this is a new... Uh, <laughs> wow, this is a new... I can't even get to... Hang on, sorry guys. Let me... Oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha chat. <laughs> All right. So, hope you can see it to everyone in the chat group. Okay, so that is the link tree. Right? There's a lot of videos there, testimonies and a lot of stuff. Okay, and let me now move on. Right, so these are some of, some of the testimonies a lot now. Okay, and this guy, this Vietnamese guy, lung disease, he's outside right now, my friend. <laughs> I mean, I'm in Vietnam now, okay. He had a lung disease that he grew so skinny, they couldn't find out what was wrong with him and he got healed. Okay. So uh so many. So yesterday I'm not gonna play I'm not okay. I'm not gonna play any of them, but I'll just tell you like this heart problem. Uh for two months she, you know, arai, 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 a lot of pain. And then after that, she wanted to sell it to her sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law said, No, you go test it, test it first. Because the sister-in-law knows that she had a heart problem. She had numbness, breathless, and so many problems, right? That is related to the heart. And she had a cardiovascular uh, report. It's all perfect. And then she had a blood test, all negative. Everything was good, all right? Okay. Constipation, this was in Baguio. And she just did the treatment and she went home and she had a good poo-poo, <laughs> all right? I'm and uh, so many, so many, all right? And we had a lot of... Uh, uh, Meetings already all over in the Philippines mainly. And I would say the most amazing uh, testimony that I, I have seen was last week in Manila where a lady, and it's in the link tree by the way, a lady had this cancer of the, of the you know, u u uterus, right? Uh, uterine cancer. And uh, wow. She has been using it. She's one of the pioneers, by the way. Uh, she used it for five months. And wow, you should see the ultrasound. It's so tiny now. <laughs> it's gone. And that is like, wow, praise God, right? <laughs> Amazing. So I know to see is to believe. And yeah, sometimes we are the worst skeptics, you know. <laughs> but then when it happens, we become stronger and stronger. We become more, more powerful in reaching out and sharing to the people out there. All right, guys, so that is the Eculife iDoc. There's another wonderful product from the factory, and I have to uh, highlight this to you. It's called the D178, okay? And this is how it, uh, well, before I, I show you how it looks like, again, we have to have classes of people that we have to state this. People who use pacemaker, right, or electronic heart-lung devices do not use. People with foreign metal objects like stand or titanium or whatever do not use. People with malignant tumors, like I say, when this device, uh, just like the AccuLife iDoc was registered, it wasn't uh, registered as a cancer curing device. So we have to say this to you. People with malignant tumors, people who have not fully recovered from surgery, pregnant women, children under three years old. Moving on. This is how it comes in a box. Very easy to assemble. Very easy. Okay, and two people can use it at the same time. Two persons, two people can use it at the same time. What does it do? What does this product do and what are the benefits? Well, it generates electrical current. Okay, it generates electrical current to activate the negative ion in your body. Wow, isn't it amazing? 
it's like a sci-fi kind of thing, you know, <laughs> futuristic. Yeah, it does. You know, guys, we are mostly insulated. We don't go grounding. We don't hug a tree. <laughs> we don't go to the beach. We don't step on the grass. Am I right? Because most of us are living in the city, isn't it? So when you do all those things that I mentioned, you get negative ion going into your body, which is good because it will neutralize the free radicals in your body. Okay, but we don't do that often enough or we don't do it at all, period. And that's why most of us are sick and the body is unable to fight because we are not doing all those things. So now you just step on the machine. All right, I'll put the picture again. You step on the machine, right? The other one, you sit on the, on the mat. The first one, you step on the blue thing. So your body will have negative ion. What does it do? Our blood pH is supposed to be 7.35 to 7.45. Am I right? Our blood pH is supposed to be 7.35 to 7.45. But unfortunately, it is not. All right. And in some cases, not only is it not in the alkaline or mild alkaline uh, state, it goes into acidic. <laughs> wow. And when it goes into acidic, that is when tumor, right? Cancer malignant tumors starts to form because these tumors, they love an acidic environment. Okay. And, you know, a lot of us do not realize that pH, right? pH can also be illustrated. Just a moment. pH can also be illustrated in millivolts. How many of you know that? Right? pH can also be shown in millivolts. Let me pull it up for you. I right? hope you guys can see it. So this website, pH potential hydrogen versus millivolts equivalent. Okay? So here, let me scroll down. So if you have a zero pH, it's positive 400 millivolts. If you have a 7 pH neutral, it's zero millivolts. If you have 14 pH, which is extreme alkaline, it's negative 400 millivolt. Guys, our body is energy. The millivolt is the battery pack, right? Now, why negative and positive? If you notice, negative for alkaline, positive for acidic. Positive means you steal electron. Negative means you donate electron. So which is better? Donate is better, right? To neutralize the free radicals, you need to donate, isn't it? Right? Remember those days, right? We study about food supplements and stuff like that. So you donate the electron, that's alkaline. You are a scavenger, you steal electron, that's positive, you are acidic. So when you look at cancer patients, do they have a pH of alkaline or acidic in their blood? Acidic, right? pH acidic. So if you want to cure cancer, why don't you just reverse the pH from acidic, move it back to 7.35 to 7.45. Okay? Now, how do you do that? Well, let's take a look again. So if you talk about 7.35 to 7.45, you're talking about 7 pH, 8 pH, negative 57.14 millivolts, right? So you do some maths. So essentially, you're talking about negative 20 to negative 25 millivolts. Our body requires negative 20 to negative 25 millivolts to function efficiently. But because we don't. Why we don't? You like coffee? <laughs> Coffee is acidic, right? You So many toxins and every day in our diet, in our breathing, the pollutants and not mentioning the stress and emotions that we undergo, right? All those things actually 
is harming our body and our energy is getting lower. And therefore, we no longer have negative 20 to negative 30 millivolts. Are you with me? So when your energy level goes down, your blood pH will also go to acidic. Just look at the sick people. Are sick people energy high or energy low? Energy low, right? So is everything that I'm saying making sense? When people are feeling depressed, is it like energy high or energy low? Somebody has a financial problem, love life problem, I don't know. So many negative emotions. Is the energy high or energy low? No. If someone is laughing every day, happy every day, wow. Is the energy high or is the energy low? When you laugh every day, when you learn to forgive, Past is past. Forget about it, right? You cannot change it. If you have a different outlook spiritually, mentally, emotionally, guys, you're going to be healthy. But not everybody has gone through that level. Are you with me, right? So they are sick. And you, you look at a, a common trait also. I mean, I'm not saying all. A lot of people who have cancer also happen to be very angry people. Angry, 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 always angry. You know that being angry is not good for you. So if you know that, why do you want to get angry? And you can only get angry if you think of the past. So don't think of the past because past is past. Can you change the past? I'm teaching you a bit of spirituality. Yeah? It's not religion, okay, guys? <laughs> but if you cannot change the past, forget it. Move on. Live in the present. Forget about it. Are you with me, guys? So, you see, 60 years old, right? Looking young. <laughs> you learn to laugh, all right? Enjoy, play golf, I don't know. I do what I do and I enjoy it. So, what I'm trying to tell you is a lot of all these emotions, everything is inside of us. It's killing us. Stress is probably the number one killer. Okay. Because stress is not classified as a disease, but stress leads to so many types of blockages, right? It, it leads to your energy depletion. Your, your cells cannot function optimally because the battery charge is low, right? Your mitochondria, your ATP cannot store, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you have a lot of problem. Why don't we reverse that? If you have that problem, you don't have that emotional condition, well, why don't you change your blood pH back to alkaline first? Okay, that's why people say, oh, but, uh, you know, I have, can I just try the, I, I, yeah, you can, you can, you can. But if you have a really, really severe sickness right now, right, you need something that works fast, super fast. And guys, the one that really, really works fast, and I'm glad the company has decided to sell it in Taiwan, right? It's this amazing thing over here. Don't think that it is expensive. It's $3,000 plus courier charges. Don't think that it is expensive, guys, because the most expensive thing is the hospital bed. The most expensive thing is the hospital bed, okay? If you get to where you are right now, and you know of somebody with cancer, somebody with real chronic disease, I think this is the one. You decide, all right? I'm not speaking on behalf of the manufacturer. I just did my scientific research, and this is what I found, and I read the brochure. It says how to balance your blood pH. Now, if they cannot do that, they cannot write on the brochure because that brochure is approved by the Taiwan FDA. And this product has been around for 10 years. Not a single complaint. And where do they have it in Taiwan? Hundreds of wellness centers. Okay? I have some pictures. I asked them to send me some pictures. And this is what they have sent to me. Oh, this is my demo in uh, Davao. And, uh, okay, amazing. Uh, these are the photos in Taiwan. Okay? <laughs> and also in Malaysia, there's one doctor in Puchong. And uh, she got it registered. 
And look at this. Wow, breast cancer gone in 16 days. My cancer is almost cured. I'm not making this up. I'm not faking this. These are real. In 1931, 1930, you can Google this. One guy by the name of Dr. Otto Warburg, O-T-T-O-W-A-R-B-U-R-G, Dr. Otto Warburg, he won the Nobel Prize. And when he won the Nobel Prize, essentially what he was doing in his research is this. He says, cancer cells are anaerobic cells. Cancer cells don't like oxygen. To treat cancer, you just have to give more oxygen to the cancer. Guys, when your pH is going up from acidic to alkaline, your cells, your battery in your cells is already fully charged from the blood to your cells. And when you do that, the cancer cells don't like oxygen. Are you with me? That's how it works. And they don't want you to know. Just like Dr. Otto Warburg, even though he knows about this and he was awarded the Nobel Prize. You cannot take that away from him. There are other doctors who discredited his work by saying that the, the Warburg or Warburg effect is blah, 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 blah. They're slandering him because they don't want you to know. Guys, if somebody say that I have a cancer curing machine, next thing you know, either a big company will buy over and then the technology will disappear or maybe the inventor will die and disappear. <laughs> it's crazy. Work. You know one more thing? If let's say you have H2O, which is water, and you know how to split the H2O and make it into a hydrogen bomb, right? <laughs> hydrogen power. And you say this, this uh, technology can fuel the motor vehicle or even the plane or whatever, or factory or, you know, you get the picture? If you claim that and you say that, yeah, maybe you will disappear too. <laughs> because the oil and gas, and they don't like that. Are you with me, guys? So there's a lot of things out there that we have to think for ourselves. Me posting this in YouTube, who knows, maybe one day I will disappear too. But that's okay. It's for a good cause. I'm 60 years old. I've had a good life, all right? I need to tell people about the truth, about you know how we have been manipulated in our thinking. Can you heal yourself? I believe so. I believe with these two products, you have the ability to heal yourself. So with that, I thank you for listening to this presentation. And I hope that you have benefited from it. And I hope that you will research further and yeah, try the product. <laughs> All right.